This is uh, my work and my show at the Irving Arts Center here in the Dupree Gallery. Um, this is Pathways and Influences. Um, what we're looking at today is uh, my work May 25th of 2022. Um, uh, as you can see, it is a skyscrape with a location of some scaffolding um, and some blobs. Um, so a little bit about the process of my work. A lot of my work is watercolor um, with a color pencil and paint pen and other mediums on top of it or uh, I work uh, also in chalk pastel with paint pen um, but normally my base is either chalk pastel or watercolor. Um, a lot of my work comes from uh, my appreciation of uh, Joseph Mallard William Turner, the, the uh, the romantic artist from England. You might be familiar with his work, The Slave Ship. Uh, but he was very much interested in this idea of the sublime and the presence of the divine within sunlight, clouds, the power of nature. Um, and I kind of, um, I've been really interested in that and how we are presented with this beauty and then cock it up with human decisions and human stupidity. Um, so a lot of my work recently has got numbers in it, numbers representing stages of divinity, five being uh, very low. It all kind of comes out of this pixie song from the 90s, or late, or late 80s, early 90s, where you know if man is five, then the devil is six, and then God is seven. And that kind of stuck with me, and I kind of like that idea of um, how, you know, levels of divinity, levels of humanity, levels of spirituality manifest in our lives. So this is a skyscrape, um, a picture I took on Jan May 29th of 2022 uh, from the window of a plane somewhere over New York um, or, I don't know, somewhere in between Dallas and New York. There you go. And uh, the scaffolding is actually from uh, the Meatpacking District in New York, um, near the Met, no, not the Met, the Whitney Museum. I uh, was very much fascinated by just the, the kind of hodgepodge, this real grid method that New York was laid out in. It kind of gets a little kiltered, but then people are constantly constructing and constantly trying to rebuild and refurbish it. and. Um, I just liked how this scaffolding just kind of took you up and New York being so condensed, so compact, um, you really you really couldn't tell where the scaffolding went to. Uh, just going up it was kind of like a, you know, a surprise of where you're gonna end up. And it ended up taking us um, to this really beautiful skywalk that's I developed the last couple of years that I really kind of liked. Um, so what my work is all about is just about this idea of choices that we make as people, choices that we make in terms of our own lives and our relationships to each other and how that, you know, has a, a, a touch uh, into the spiritual world, a touch into the world that kind of connects us all. Um, and how, you know, this, the scaffolding here is incomplete because it is man-made. Uh, it goes off, it, it's unfinished, it, it doesn't really go anywhere, there's no real connection points uh, because we are, you know, as humans trying to understand things that are beyond our concept, beyond our ability. And um, we, we formulate designs based on nature, based on uh, the universe that really we don't have a single clue about, but we try to make it up and make it as best as we can. I title all my works either with a sequence of numbers, four, five, six, seven, or with the date of the work, because I really want you to be able to look at it and have your own visual experience. Kind of like what Mark Rothko was doing with his color field paintings. He wanted you to get up close, get up personal, and have an emotional experience of your own. I hope you come see the show.